Hello, welcome to another demonstration of RNCAD. In this little demonstration, uh, we're going to explain what groups are. Uh, we've been getting a lot of feedback from users that don't fully understand what groups are in RNCAD. Uh, they have this misconception that they're assemblies or patterns. They're none of that. Okay. Uh, if we just keep it simple, a group is a group. All right. And if you go to the tools palette you see the group icon up here all right um, what the group allows you to do is to basically take multiple items group them together strictly for positioning and manipulation purposes in RNCAD it's just uh, uh, just helps you speed up your productive pro productivity um, and that's really it in a nutshell so let, let's explain or show you how how we use it in this particular uh, mold here we have we have a plate here, and we have a. Um, uh, let me let me set here my filter to parts, so we're only selecting parts. Um, so we have a plate, and mounted to the bottom of the plate is this pillow block on either side, and then mounted to that is this bearing block. All right. So in reality, when this machine is built, these all these components are bolted together, so they should actually move together. Correct. So now if we want to move this plate, and uh, when I go, shoot, the, the uh, pillow blocks didn't move with it, so we got to hit undo. So we hit the shift key, pick all our parts, okay, and we move again, and then we're like, oh, somehow those didn't get selected. Jesus, what did we do? So we undo again. By grouping, eliminates a lot of headaches you have so what you want to do is you pick your multiple parts right okay we have them all selected hit group and now if you scroll down my scene browser you see you have a little folder now what that houses all your groups and you can have multiple groups in your scene it doesn't matter so now we can pick the plate independently but let's say we want to pick that whole group of parts we come here and pick it from the scene browser you notice they all highlight and now we'll never screw up not selecting anything so uh, very useful group so if you right click you can suppress the group unsuppress show it hide it if you hide it right you put the group away we show everything that the group is back if we decide we don't need the group anymore you can just ungroup it uh, it's always good to kind of just never do that because they don't the groups don't affect any kind of bill of material information or anything or how it, how your parts are going to lay out. It's strictly a, a productivity tool to for allowing you to rather than now like clicking five times to click all these parts and potentially missing one. Now you're down to one click and you're golden. All right. So I hope that provides a little insight to what groups are in IronCAD. Uh, my recommendation is use them, especially if you're dealing in large assemblies. Um, they're gonna be—they're gonna really make your life a whole lot easier. All right. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.